with our hierarchy diagram and change comparison list, we're done as well with the functions list of those components. And now we're jumping into our change matrix. As we discussed through our lectures, change matrix is known as change points cross the functions matrix. And that is named this way for a reason because you are crossing the change points with the functions for each component. So if you can look at the big picture of the change matrix, you have change points in here on the Y axis, you put all your components and all the changes happening between the base and the new design and the list of those components. On the Y, on the X axis, you're having all your functions for those components. So let's get you in detail. So change points exactly looking like, like the change comparison list. You have list of components, related parts, category, the base design, the new design, and the change. What change did it happen between the base and new design in a brief explanation? In this case, for the favor of time, I already plugged in the components that we had in our example. So we have the smart one, two, three, which is the whole assembly. As we discussed, we are moving from a regular smartwatch into a projected smartwatch that will be able to project the screen on the hand of the user and he will be able to interact with it and do a lot of uh, applications related to that. So what's the change happening here? Adding projection feature to the smartwatch. Then we have the crown. We said that the components that are not experiencing any change, it's better not to put them in your system, but it doesn't hurt to have them. Like the crown here, we have absolutely no change in our example. So we put no change, no change between the baseline and the new design. And here we can add new change, no change as well in this case. So let's copy this text and plug it in here. So we have no change. For the touch screen, we had a dimensional change. We said we're going from this dimension in the baseline design to this dimension, we're shrinking in size. And for the steel enclosure, we said we are an increasing the size or we have, we're having a dimensional change. So here you can say, it is a dimensional change. Or you can put details about this change. What what does that mean, dimensional change? You can add details. As brief as possible is fine because you will have a lot of, you already explained in the change comparison list what that change is in details. And you will be able to identify concerns and from that point you will be able to tell all the stories behind that change and you will build as well the root cause analysis of that concern and all the details, either engineering or design details behind it. Then we're having the steel enclosure. We said there's a change. That is a dimensional change. Biometric sensors, there's no change. As I said, same as the crown, you can eliminate that component and no need to add it to your change matrix, but it doesn't hurt to have it there. There's no problem. For the PCB, we said for the sake of time, we're not going in details because the whole thing is made up and nothing is realistic. So we moved from design A for PCB to design B. And we want to see, since we are doing mechanical or a hardware DRBFM, we want to see how does that change affect our uh, overall system and performance? And how does that, how will that be captured in our change matrix? Then we have the projection assembly. So in baseline design, we have no base design for projection and we are making brand new design for the projection assembly and embedding that in our old smartwatch design so pcb we can say here uh, processing capabilities change so you are uh, giving the watch more capability of doing more processing since you're introducing a new system to that smartwatch. For the projection assembly, um, adding projection feature, in this case to the baseline design. Okay, let's change the color here. Back. 
Okay. So that's good. Now for the change points, we're good to go. And remember, we have a legend here. No effect is green. Confirmed effect or confirmed concern is in a, a red cube or a red square, if you would say. Then possible effects will be kind of orangey triangle. So that will do it. So whenever you have no concern, you'll put a green um, square whenever you have confirmed concern you have uh, a red square whenever you have possible concern you have an orange triangle so on top the x-axis we have the functions for the for those components so you go back to your functions list you plug it in here as you can see going back to functions list we took all those functions and put them in but we didn't put the names, we just put the reference number from or, or reference letter from Exploded View. So you can see visualization part annotation, which is the reference letter or, run, or number that's used in the visualization. And uh, we put down what is the function that's been written in the function list for that component or for that assembly. And we put them in here now is the the real deal of course you can add system assemblies and parts you can add as much details as needed sometimes you want to break down a into a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 then things will get more complicated so you can break it down as needed and put all the functions that you listed as needed so we have here basic functions for all the parts and we have here visualization and notation so we know this relates to that and uh, in some cases you have test requirements uh, those test requirements are needed to put in of course in most companies they have a test requirements in order to meet the customer requirements there's a certain series of tests that you need to pass in order to tell that this component or this product is uh, passing the standards of that company or that customer so you put them in here uh, to be able to compare them with the change points and see how does that affect if the test fail or pass in the development, how does that affect that change point? Then we have related specs citation. If you have a certain specs from customer, again, you cite it in here and you add it in references tab. And we have lessons learned. Like in the past, you had um, you had a shady or or you lost color in your screen, or you had a shady screen, or you had a ghost effect in your screen. You put it in, and how keeping that in mind, how does it? How does the new change is making that uh, failure to be most possibly to happen again or not then you can identify as a concern or not so long story short you have change point you compare it with function how would you approach it you have a smartwatch going from a regular smartwatch into projected smart smartwatch so you're adding projection feature as a change you come in here under this function you say, how does that change affect controlling the phone components like messages, calling notification? Does the projection affect that in a bad way? In this case, we're saying. Then we say, no, it doesn't. Or yes, of course it does. Or maybe it will. In this case, of course, you're just projecting the screen based on our example. So you put it green. There's no concern there then you can say okay changing from a regular smartwatch assembly into a projected smartwatch assembly how does it affect the navigation through the watch apps in a bad way we're saying here of course it's affecting in a good way that you have more ways to interact with the watch and becoming more appealing and more aesthetic and probably giving more options to the customer or to the user to to interact with the watch and you go beyond the dimensions of the watch into the hand so you can go go bigger in this case depending on the app that you're implementing in but how does it affect does it affect in a bad way the navigation through the 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 watch apps then we would say in this case we would say out of the box no if you overthink it you, if you overthink it you could you could find problems but we're saying no now we have so you keep going how does that change affect the input device to the watch functionality in a bad way there's a new way to input through the the user hand so the user can use his hand as a screen and giving input to the watch but does that affect the interaction 
or the the way we are inputting the data into the watch and interacting with it who would say no how does that change affect the protection and packaging we can see here since it could be too tight for packaging then we could say potential concern here if you want to add comments on it then you can say um, implementation concern between parentheses we can say size or packaging and so on keep going you can say sensing the user biometric information on the input and the output in this case biometric sensor stayed in place so there is no concern there handling inputs and uh, outputs for the system does that change affect handling inputs and outputs yeah there is a concern because we will have a new way of input then you can add your comment if needed of course he copied my my comment but uh, you can remove that later but you're getting idea here here we say project the watch content on the user hand how does that change affect that in a bad way there's no effect because that's basically the function of adding the projection then you go to crown the crown we said there's no change so that's all no concern to the crown because there is no change point there touch screen we are shrinking the dimensions of the touch screen how does that affect controlling the phone components and that's a pure hard that's a pure software so there's no effect there so we can put this as a no concern navigating through the watch apps how does changing the touch screen dimensions affect the navigation there is a possible concern because the screen is smaller in this case touch screen is smaller so components of the software need to be smaller and uh, but in the same time you have projection on hand so there's potential concern it worth to discuss that with the design review members or to take it as a as a drbfm expert to take it alone on the table and considering all the components that you have through development and making sure is this still a potential concern or there is no concern so that will open your eyes discussing with the right people making sure that this shrink in touch screen doesn't cause any concerns in the future and lessons learned of course and feedback from customers could help you in resolving this topic along with the design review members inputs okay we have input device to the watch functionality does that change affect as well we said the screen is getting smaller so that could affect so keep it potential concern protection and packaging could be potential concern if you overthink it but we would say out of the box for now as a primary step in building the change matrix there is no concern sensing the biometrics of course there's no concern because biometric sensors are on the back of the watch not on the screen handling inputs and outputs shrinking the screen doesn't mainly affect big deal projecting the watch content on user hand does that affect um, so we said here there is no effect in the previous one and there is no effect here as well and so on you know you get the idea so me offline I will, I, will, I will continue on building the change matrix and potential concerns so that we can move to our next step of building design review member list and building the A rank based on potential and confirmed concerns and eventually building our root cause analysis for each concern and being able to eliminate the potential concern that we identified as a no concern and put them back here as a no concern so they're not not orange anymore and the assuming that we will have a confirmed concern in this case we go back to the confirmed concern and we investigate it and make sure that confirmed concern is not affecting the system if it is then we discuss with design review members and see what are the steps to be taken to eventually avoid that uh, confirmed concern uh, of making or of leading us into delivering a failed product to the user at the end.